Hey everybody, welcome to another Clean Machine Live. I'm Jeff Palmer, CEO and founder of Clean Machine. Yes, today's video is a little bit disturbing, but before we get started, this video is for informational and educational purposes only, is not intended to diagnose, treat, cure, or prevent any disease. Although that's exactly what we are going to be talking about is how we can help uh, not create some of these horrible diseases that are affecting far too many people in the United States. So as the title of the, uh, uh, the uh, CM Live would suggest, this is about a report that just came out in July of 2022. It's a stark, stark reminder of where Americans are at with health, nutrition, and physical activity. That's why I've committed my life to helping educate people on health, fitness, and nutrition. It is so vital to the lives that we leave. Not only that, the lives that our family members leave, your, your parents, your children, you know, are we gonna be around for them? if we continue this lifestyle that most Americans are doing. And when I say most Americans, that is actually statistically correct. And what we used to see is diseases were a state of older age. Once you get 50s, 60s, 70s, then diseases started appearing. That's just not the case anymore. It's because our diet and our lack of exercise and our amounts of stress, amongst a host of other things, but those are key those are, are, are not getting better, they're getting worse. Let's dive into the statistics. Okay, so let's, I'll go ahead and put up the report first so that you guys can see it. And that so that if you want to follow the link, you can also show it. Uh, so I'll put it in the comment section and, and then pull it up on the screen if you're watching this later on YouTube. You can check out these videos every week. And there it is. It's uh, the July 2022 report on morbidity and mortality weekly report. So this is done by the CDC and there's the link for it before. And the statistics are frightening. They're, they're scary because what we're talking about is over half of our young population now has a chronic disease state. That's horrible. Under the age of 35. So they looked at people between the age of 18 and 35 in this study and found 54% were living with at least one chronic health condition. That's 40 million Americans between the age of 18 and 35. 18 and 35 with a chronic disease already. This is this is this is a problem. <laughs> One, I, I hate to see people suffer, especially that early in life. People dying of heart attacks and type two diabetes and high blood pressure in their thirties. That's that's half your life cut short. And, and it's it is not just a few people. This is. 54% over half of young Americans, Americans under the age of 35, over half of them have a chronic disease. What? Why? How did we get this way? Well, it's real, real obvious how we get this way. The standard American diet is killing us. The lack of exercise, the amount of stress we're putting ourselves through is killing us. And it's really not that hard. It doesn't have to be an all or nothing equation. Let's rattle off more of the statistics. Of those 40 million Americans, 22%, almost a quarter of those in that group, 18 to 35, actually have two chronic diseases or more. Wow. 25% are obese under the age of 35 and 25% are already obese. 
not overweight, obese. This sets you up for heart attack, stroke, diabetes, high blood pressure. This is metabolic syndrome that has just a causal link to cancer to just about every major disease killer in the United States. We're eating too much and we're eating too much of the wrong foods. We're eating too much animal foods, not enough plant foods, whole plant foods, and we're not mindful of nutrition and we're not exercising. It's so simple, folks. It's just eating mostly or more plant-based diet, just including more whole food plants in your diet and just getting 20 to 30 minutes of exercise in a day can make a huge difference. Look, I'm 60 years of age, best shape of my life, and it's not about the muscle. I have been disease free, no, zero chronic illness in my entire 60 years of life so far. My mother, my father, both of my brothers were already dead by my age. And I don't even have a disease state because I'm taking care of my health. I love working out. I love exercise. I look forward to it every day. It makes me feel better. Speaking of feeling better, almost a quarter of Americans under the age of 35 are claiming to be depressed. And we know, we know there is hundreds of studies out there showing that that exercise and a healthy diet can improve depression. We know this. Why aren't we saying this? Why aren't we telling this in the schools? Why aren't we making this a public goal to encourage through laws, through our, our government, through our education system, through our formats? Why aren't we telling the people the truth? that the standard American high animal-based diet is killing us and that a basic plant-based diet, even if it's not totally plant-based, plant-based diet with exercise and some stress reduction can save you, save the vast majority of people out there from, from that. And, and look, this is not me talking. I'm going to put the actual quote from the study right up on the screen. It's not me talking, just nothing, nothing. This study suggests that inactivity, exercise, and unhealthy lifestyles, standard American diet, full of processed foods, saturated fat, this is what's killing us. This is what's leading to the chronic conditions. I. I don't, you know, it pains me because there's so many people out there uh, like Angela. Hey, Angela, nice to see you on, on the talk that are doing their best to try to help people improve their lifestyles. And we want that for other people because we don't want them to suffer. We don't want to see them as parents having to tell their children they have a terminal illness, having to tell their spouse that depends on them financially or depends on them for love and support that they're not gonna be around in the next few years. And, and this is under 35 already chronic disease states. This does not need to happen. This amount of suffering, this amount of anguish, this amount of hospitalization, drugs, hospital bills, drug bills, doctor bills, all these bills are just wiping people out financially. The number one cause in, in the state of Florida from, from what I read recently for bankruptcies or foreclosures, number one cause is healthcare costs. It's wiping people out, letting themselves get sick through their diet and lack of exercise is wiping them out financially and then killing the people and leaving their families without that support, without that emotional support, without that physical support, and without that financial support that those family members may depend on. If you wanna be a man, be here for the people who love you. Be here for the people who care for you. That's manly. 
eating meat that is killing you, causing cancer and diabetes and heart attacks and stroke and making you obese, 25% of the people under the age of 35 already obese? Get a grip, folks. Come on. There are people counting on you. There are people that love you. If you don't love yourself, that's one thing. As I can see there's 25% depression. It's even higher in women. 27% of women are claiming to be depressed under the age of 35. Under the age of 35, this is so heartbreaking. I suffered with depression. I, I, I know it. It was clinical depression. It was suicidal depression. I wanted out. I get it. I understand it. But let's help each other. And it can start with just a little bit of exercise and cleaning up the diet with some whole food, plant-based foods. Keying in on your nutrition and your body, your brain, your health will function on such a better level. That's why I do this. That's why I named my company Clean Machine. I want to encourage you to keep this incredible, amazing gift that we get born into the human body, this amazing, incredible machine. Keep it clean. I'm 60 years old. I've never, ever had a single disease state. No cancer, no heart attacks, no stroke, no diabetes, no high blood pressure, nothing. It doesn't have to happen if you take care of it. Just like if you take care of a car and you put gas and you put motor oil and you take good care of it, it lasts. Same with the human body. <sighs> it's so heartbreaking because I know what suffering does. I lost my mother and my father and both of my brothers before they even reached the age of 60. I don't want you to go through that suffering that I went through. I don't want you to feel those types of losses. And, and I don't want you to be the one that causes that kind of pain and suffering to the people who love you and care about you. That's why I do what I do. It's not dogma. It's not me out to change you to be a vegan because I'm in some cult. It's not that at all. I don't give a shit about that. Excuse my language. Oops, sorry. <laughs> what I do care about is suffering. I don't want you to suffer. I don't want your family members and people that love you to suffer. I don't want the animals to suffer. I don't want our environment that supports all life on this planet to suffer. These are the things I care about. I want to help you. I don't want to change you. I want you to live a better life. These statistics are brutal, but there is hope. Great new study. I'm going to put it up on the screen too as well. Um, a JAMA study, September 22. So this just came out it up on the screen for you so that you can see it. There is hope. It's not too late. It doesn't matter where you're at. Start somewhere. Start now. That's the only place that you've got. And I'm going to go ahead and put this up on the screen. So this is the JAMA study that association adherence to a healthy lifestyle recommendation, recommendations with all cause and cause specific mortality in former smokers. So what they found in the former smokers was, and I'll quote this directly from the study, participants with a higher adherence score also had a lower risk of mortality from cancer, cardiovascular disease, and respiratory disease. Even smokers, as long as they started exercising and eating a healthier diet, had extended lifespan, had better health outcomes, Smokers, the number one cause of death in the world, at least in the United States. Wow. There, don't give up hope. Look, if you're under the age of 35 and you have a chronic illness, start doing your homework. Don't go down the path of drugs that just postpone. Drugs do not prevent or, or stop disease states. They postpone them. And change, real change in your lifestyle, exercising, stress reduction, whole eating, more whole food plants. This is what the body needs. This is what our bodies over hundreds of thousands of years evolved to thrive on. Give your body back what it thrives on and it will serve you well. That's what I want for you.
I thank you for joining me. I know I can get pretty passionate about this, but when I see statistics like this, that 40 million Americans under the age of 35 are dealing with a chronic disease that probably, most likely in most cases, did not need to happen. The norm should be healthy adults. I, 60, living to 60 years old, disease-free and in healthy condition. That should be the norm. Why have we allowed the norm to be half of Americans sick, obese, and, and, and half of those two chronic illnesses, cancer, heart attack, diabetes, stroke, high blood pressure. This doesn't need to happen. This is not the way the body functions. That is a dis-ease. It means it's not where your body should be. Just put the right foods in there and do the exercise just like we would in nature, just like every other animal on this planet. You know, I think we've, we as a human species of thought, hey, we're better than the animals. We can build shelters, we can do technology, we can do all these amazing things. Well, we are better than that, but that technology and those advancements have given us artificial colors and preservatives and processed food and chemicals and GMOs and stuff that is killing ourselves. That's not advancement, that's not evolution, that's de-evolution, that's going backwards. With 54% of Americans under the age of 35 already in a chronic disease, you don't see that in any of the animal kingdom in their natural state. None. It just does not happen and should not be happening to the human animal as well. I care about you out here. It's why I do what I do. I do these Facebook lives for free because I think education is the most important thing that I can do to help pay it forward. Somebody helped save my life, helped me through depression. I want to pay it forward. And I've committed the rest of my life to do so. Uh, please, it's not about me. It's not about the brand. It's about you and your choices. I want to give you the information to help you make empowered decisions so that you don't have to suffer. So your family and loved ones don't have to suffer through disease states unnecessarily. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you do, please give it a thumbs up, give it a like, subscribe, even make some comments. Um, Angela, thank you as always. You're you're wonderful and thank you for the work you're doing. Um, if you don't know Angela, check her out on Boomer and Beyond Wellness. She's out there giving great information on a daily basis too. Check her out, support her. Let's get healthy folks. It just takes a little effort to avoid some very catastrophic consequences. Thank you, thank you so much. And we'll see you next Thursday. There's some more amazing research coming out. I'll bring it to you every day. I want to help educate you to get you up to speed so you have the best information. You don't have to take it from me. You can click on the links, read the research for yourself, but make the changes. There's lots of people who care about you, that want you healthy, that want to see you happy. Let's, let's give that to them. Thanks for joining me. We'll see you next week.